Stevenson Falls today to RIT in the NCAA tournament third round. Glenn Clark now with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, your team fought back in the second and third quarters and gave yourselves a chance, but you had a hell of an opponent, and it seemed like they just they just had too many answers there in the fourth. Yeah, you know, we just got, you know, a bad first quarter there, 8-2. We got down. We knew they were going to come out strong, and you know, we lost some face-offs, and we had to make some adjustments defensively. Once we made our adjustments defensively, I thought we played them great, but, you know, we got kind of caught in some – Tough little situation, but I thought they made really tough plays, and I didn't think we made as many tough plays. We had some opportunities to score some goals to get it tighter. It was 11-7. We had a couple great shots, and the goalie made saves, so I give him credit. He made some real timely saves, then they were able to get out on us a little bit. And, uh, you know, they're seniors. They play like a whole starting lineups, almost seniors, and, you know, they do a great job. But we were able to pressure them, do a lot of great things to them. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately, you know, we just didn't make enough. And, uh, you know, I give credit to our seniors. You know, they really cared, and they did a lot of great things, and a lot of them are going to do some great things in, the, in life after this and told them to hold their head high. And unfortunately, you know, we didn't get it done, and we kind of could. I wish we would have handled the end of the game a little bit better. But those guys cared, and they were trying to do some things. And unfortunately, sometimes when things tumble, you get caught up in them. And you know, Jake knows that. As I told him, told him sorry. He understands that he's, his team's been in that situation as well. So, uh, so, but uh, you know, we did a good job fighting back, giving ourselves a chance, and you know, giving us a, an opportunity. But unfortunately, the slow start really hurt us. You mentioned the seniors. One guy who's been just outstanding down the stretch this uh, season was Ross Dynan, and yep. he was really good. I mean, the numbers maybe you see a lot of goals given up, but he made a ton a ton of saves today. Yeah, and he did. I thought both goalies played really well. Ross was exceptional and gave us a chance and stuff like that when we were scrambling, trying to do some things, and that's what we needed out of him. But I thought Nesbitt also played great and made very timely saves and did a great job. What's your message to the guys that are going to be back next season? Well, the message is you got to hold their heads high. And, you know, we got we got new guys coming in. We got some good, some another good recruiting class, we think, coming in. We got some great transfers already coming in. And, you know, we got to get a little bit better. We got to be a tougher team. I just thought RIT was a little tougher team than us today, and that's unfortunate. So we got to be a little tougher to make those plays. And that's the difference in these playoff games. The tougher teams usually win. Yeah, still Matt Commonwealth champion. Still a lot that you accomplished this season. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's just the way it goes. Unfortunately, in the end, only one team is going to hold a trophy. Yeah, and it's tough. You know, the end's so sudden, you know, so uh, – uh, but, you know, there's a lot of good teams out there. RIT is one of the best two teams in the country all year, and, you know, they're, they're going to be a tough out for anybody. And, uh, but, uh, you know, our guys did a good job. It's still a good season, still accomplished a lot. And uh, so uh, we're happy with that, and, uh, but we'll move on and get better. Coach, uh, disappointing, obviously, a way to end the season, but appreciate all the time that you've given us throughout the year, and uh, congratulations on a successful season. Thank you very much. Coach Paul Cantabene with us here. Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.